What's happening guys? Touchdown in USA, made it through custom and everything. Oh, I'm so relieved to see this one here. I was not sure my bike was gonna be here. So I'm like over the moon that this is here because I had the delay, flight cancellation stuff. That's just life. Although on purpose planned three weeks, uh, three hours, no, four hours in between transfers so that the luggage makes it, but it did make it. I'm so happy. Now I'm checking that the bike is in one piece and then I'm gonna drive over to Oceanside from LAX. I'm in Russia now, so it should take me three hours instead of the usual one and a half, so let's go. So there we have it. Good news and bad news. Good news is we got a working rental car. It's a small SUV, cheapest option, but I need an SUV for this beast of a bike back. Uh, I have to see if it fits in. Normally borderline, but I have a jack up my sleeve for this one. You can basically, yeah, build the bike apart and then you can flap the bike case a bit on. That's my worst case scenario. So let's see if I can get it in. Check this out. Easy. Got it in there. Oh, I thought it would be tighter. Lots of space. I did not want to build my bike apart. Oh, incoming. Okay, I have to say, the LA airport, LAX, I mean, for you guys, Americans watching, you know how it is, but if you come from Northern Europe, even from Central Europe, it's like the wild, wild west. Holy cow, it's like, let's go right in there. So, um, happy now in the car, gonna have a chill drive down. I'm super awake still, I don't, didn't sleep too bad on the plane and uh, ate well, wasn't too bad of a travel, really uh, was good and uh, feel awake now a little drive through rush hour might be and then to oceanside and uh, don't really know where i am yet it's always a bit funny but uh, i'm getting there like i'm looking at things i'm seeing everything's different you know palm trees and everything so uh, adventure living it i'm stopping at a little viewpoint here i want to show you guys where i'm at so this way is uh, oceanside i just came along the highway from there all the way the coast look how crazy beautiful it is here it's really like these green hills it stopped a bit after um, LA and there's Pacific absolutely incredible I'm for sure a bit sleep deprived it's been now over 24 hours I'm awake but I made it through LA rush hour which was a was a bit of a trip getting used to the driving and really having to focus but I made it so I'm really happy and uh, yeah now it's just easy driving almost in Oceanside 15 miles left, really chill. There are the birds and uh, yeah, incredible here. So grateful to do this. <laughs> when I was in LA, I felt like I was uh, driving like in GTA in the, in the game, like in Grand Theft Auto or something. One guy like Mexican looking with a pickup truck, exactly like one thing I remember from GTA, cruised past me and some other stuff as well. Like of course it's based on LA, it was pretty funny, but especially so sleep deprived. Like, Stay awake, stay awake. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna head back to the car and then we head to Oceanside, the last stop. And then I'm there, some dinner. And let's go. Check this out. We're in Oceanside, in the middle of it. It's the coolest streets ever. Surfer Street, Windward Street. Here's the neighborhood where I'm gonna be. Beautiful. Good morning guys, checking in from day number two. Slept super well, like a baby, really good. Uh, really happy with that. Now I'm just gonna build my bike a little bit. Yeah, then we're heading out to Oceanside. I'm gonna do a little ride there, a little run as well. There may be some lunch there, just enjoying it. Really excited for everything, so in a good space. All right, we're heading to the garage. Here, Kevin and Liesl have their amazing bike set up. I'm gonna introduce them to you later. The host where I stay at, super happy. 
that I can be here with them. It's so amazing, love it here. And already un started unpacking a little bit as you can see. I also got a CO2 cartridge from Kevin and because uh, you can't take those in the plane, right? So I'm just gonna be unpacking my bike now and then, yeah. Added some more, <laughs> yeah, just stickers. I got any kind of stickers, uh, some flags here, just to mark it a bit more because I see more and more people having just have a bike back and you don't want people by accident taking your back and it's gone and everything then uh, yeah okay we got the cockpit on that's a reset and uh, now my big pizza ring I'm gonna put the chain on now it's also something I put pliers at it the first time now this one I always put off, really important. Um, and normally also, front rear really is gone, normally I put the batteries off, but now I'll just put the chain on and then that's it. So we got one little issue with the chain. Some part of this chain link somehow got lost, so I can't close the chain. So I need a new one of those and then I can fix it. So I got two things to problem solve a little bit. Um, this one didn't lose any sealant, but this one did lose quite a bit of sealant. So I do need a bit of a sealant refill. I do have this thing at home, but I didn't take it with and I haven't done the sealant part so well on my own. So I'll probably get a refill here. Then the chain link I need to get. And yeah, then we're good. It's a bit of problem solving, but it's usual you have to expect it, right? You can't expect the perfect smooth thing. There's always something. So I'm really surprised. It's all good. I have time. I'm gonna do it in peace. Um, I just had breakfast earlier, uh, some old banana and coffee as usual. So now my digestion time is kind of over and that means I have to use that window not to drive to a shop and back and then be hungry. That's kind of bad planning. So I use that window for a 30 minute gym, gym session. I'm gonna do that now uh, at the local area resort here, just right in the area, uh, free entry, everything. Part of this home complex where I live here now. And uh, so I'm gonna do a gym, just activating. I can take you with and also just a little swim maybe a thousand meters maximum today because uh, tomorrow we have the ocean swim uh, jump in there get used to the current and uh, the run in the sand banks and all of that stuff and then uh, later i'll go to the bike shop get that stuff fixed uh, have a little ride as well and then a short run later 30 minutes just really some activation stuff uh, on the bike for example four times three minutes threshold with seven minutes rest so, so I was really just activating and uh, riding in this beautiful area. Have a look again, how it looks. Check this one out. So this is kind of where I live here. Beautiful. Can't believe it. Do you want to touch a palm tree? Let's touch, touch a palm tree. This is a palm tree. All right, we're at Super, super Lucky. We got Yao here coming up from USA Bike Support. And uh, yeah, he has a shop here in the area. You can have a look there. He's coming by and helping. Oh, super, super lucky on that front. Uh, this is Kevin, by the way. Kevin is an amazing host and his wife, Liesl. They're also gonna race. And uh, yeah, here's the rest of my bike. As I said, we're gonna just check with the chain link, refill some sealant. And uh, yeah, then we should be good to ride. All right, we got it fixed. I have some really good learnings for you guys, uh, which for sure will help me a lot uh, from Yao, some last fine tuning, some things I already did in the past, which did work, uh, some didn't work, but uh, let's have a look what you can do with a strum, especially or a bike like that for travel. Uh, some things I know for a fact, even Red Bull hair wearing uh, athletes don't know, so that mess up the race and then suddenly can shift in the race. So let's have a look some things. So if you have a bike like that with strum in general, put off the derailleur, that's one. It's, it's, it's basic knowledge for some, but not for everybody. So put off the derailleur and you think, oh, it's so complicated, difficult. No, it's not. I thought the same back then. It's just one screw here, loosen it. What I did before when I didn't put off the chain, which also works, you put off the derailleur and very important, put off the battery. Um, I didn't do this now, big mistake because it keeps connecting during the flight all the time for hours and hours and you're doing your travel. It keeps connecting with your box and this battery is done. It was full before and now it's empty. So this one you have to put out. 
then put off the rear derailleur it's just one screw here the allen key four or five boom that's off if you don't want to put off the chain which you actually can i did that before you just put this thing kind of down wrap it tightly and also the chain that it doesn't you know tangle and stuff and you just put it kind of like this it's not ideal i would recommend putting this thing off and also the chain off with a strum there's one link you can kind of open it's really simple with the thing i got like a plier type of tool which is good for opening but not for clothing but apparently clothing you know you can just pull a lot of pressure on the chain but then check that those links here that they're actually close one of them it, here it says four strum and they're all that one of them has like a little arrow where it shows um that you can open it. So this is one. If you have a front derailleur the same, put the battery out, put this battery thing off. Then another big one, which I know for certain I didn't do, didn't, uh, what happened is when you, um, because I put this front part off and what happened was during the flight, somehow the, these shifting buttons, these, they will get pushed and probably all the time, or maybe it's constantly pushed. That means this blip box here in the front is constantly triggered. And this is basically the one that is important for shifting. If you have this bike, you, you, you will know. But what uh, he recommended is to unplug all the cables like here. So I'll just in the future, of course you could take a battery out, but that's some screws here, okay. Easier part is you can just plug those things out. And uh, important that you plug it in the same. If you're not sure, might as well um, just put the battery out. It might be simpler because if you plug it in the wrong way, the shifting is all over the place and it might not be right. So. Those are my key learnings. What else do I do? Ah, another really, really good learning actually. Because I did now two trials with the tubeless ones. First one I completely messed up. I deflated almost all of it. And of course then all the sealant goes out and all your bike shop fees uh, from doing it just before racing is out the window. You can do it again, have to go again to a bike shop unless you do it yourself to refill those. Um, so what he said actually, because they say with the airlines, hey, keep it deflated. You have to have at least three bars. He say five bars is safe. So you keep five bars on these tires, keep it closed, and then you can travel safely with it. He's been all over the world with uh, road cycling teams and that stuff, so it is safe. So uh, what I'm gonna do in the future with the sealant stuff, I'm just gonna keep five bars in there. There's a bit still on, I have to clean it. So five bars um, I keep on the tires and then I'm uh, ready to go. So the bike is ready, uh, except just charging the battery still. And then we'll be doing a ride with Kevin over there. <laughs> just loading up on some coffee. And then a little snack. Um, one of my, what I usually do now is a bit of a secret. Not secret, it's my new thing, but with a blender. So I put oats in there, banana, uh, protein shake. Uh, so quite a lot of carbs and you can, you know, you can drink it plus half a liter of liquid super good and uh, so I have two of those a day um, on, on high training days so you have those around the um, you know the three big meals that you have and for me it works really well like you can just tell because it's liquid and still high in quality carbs you know banana you can also put two bananas and oats you can put a bit of honey and this protein powder which has carbs and also the um, yeah, protein I'm just getting ready for my bike ride. Uh, just doing the last things here. So as you can see, little updates still on the app for this one. Always good to select the SRAM app. Then really important if you value your life uh, on the bike, there's only two things that keep us safe. This bit of Lycra is not gonna do it. But uh, you need a good helmet, obvious that's standard, but what is not standard, and I wish I had before why my accident, it could have ended really bad is rear light is still common but uh, i would get just a big one rechargeable it has to last at least four or five hours like from knock uh, those ones are very good then a front light as well that is the one that i didn't have and that's why i had an accident so i have a big led front light that's key and uh, yeah, i got a spare one here so you want to be as seen as possible uh super important so please 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 promise me invest in that get a big LED for front and back that lasts as long as possible even if you have to spend 100 bucks on it those 100 bucks can literally save your life so helmet okay but also as you know when we don't know I get this LED helmet I got it is an e-bike helmet from Lumos German brand not sponsored uh, so yeah I wear this for visibility 
clothing is not so good this time, but these pockets here on this uh, one just is really good for storage. I have some stuff in the back that I need to carry with today. So yeah, this is my visibility plan. So seems to be some problem with my glip box, the part to connect it. So I'm trying to fix that. So right is out the window uh, for now. Gotta fix this. Uh, yeah, problem with the electronical stuff, I had always some issues. Uh, I mean, I did a mistake to keep the battery in, but now all of the things that worked before are not working. So either this box is broken or something I can see. All right, so a few hours later, I was at Walmart, got myself a, a phone number for one month now, USA phone number because of the internet. Without internet, you know, you don't know where to drive. <laughs> Without driving, you can't do anything. You can't walk one mile here anywhere, so it's a, it's a different world. But uh, I got internet now. And more importantly, I got a working bike, Yao from, yeah, I can link him as well. Yao, amazing guy. He came behind again and actually the blip box was broken. So I needed a new one. He tried everything and I tried everything. I don't know, you know, it's just weird, right? This stuff, yeah, it's expensive, but it is what it is. Important is that I can race. So some adversity, we got some stuff, but it's shifting now. That's the most important. I got a working bike and uh, yeah. They just see, you know, travel is always a bit of a mix. So most important part is I think that you don't allow yourself. Oh, wait, we have someone coming here. Who are you? Who are you? Hello? Oh, a little scared, a little scared. Some... <laughs> a little uh, script interruption here. But uh, where was I? Anyways, I think most important is that this costs as little energy as possible from you. It did, of course, annoy me a little bit, but I really tried to always, and once I got annoyed, like go back to central because I need every bit of energy for the race. I can't allow myself to waste energy on things that are out of my control. I just have to problem solve. So I think I did really well with that in the past, you know, let's say two, three years ago, I would have raged. So no emotional control in that sense. But uh, yeah, I'm much better now. So I'm gonna be doing a nice ride, a little run still. And uh, yeah, then we got the day. So I got about an hour of daylight left. Today was a productive day and a pretty insane amount of resistance, like just uncontrollable stuff through my way. So the chain broke during the travel. The sealant went out. That was my fault, but still went out, had to be fixed. Uh, that's two on the bike. Number three was the blip box broke. $430, bye bye. It just broke, some technical thing. I think it broke, uh, again, there's a reason for it, because maybe the button has been pushed the whole time, so it connected with the blip box for like a long amount of button that kind of shortcutted it. So um, yeah, some fun stuff with this electric, electrical steering stuff, so make sure you do it right during your travel because that's an expensive one. If you would break this part here, that's a thousand bucks. So if this one breaks, Let's say you don't take it off and something breaks, thousand bucks. So I have, I have still hopes that I can get it through the insurance the blip box because I insured the hell out of my bike, which you should do as well if you have an expensive bike. Insure it. If that thing breaks, airline is not going to pay. So um, I have a bit of daylight left, so I'm going to be heading out this river trail. It's like an hour spin, an hour ride I do with some short threshold efforts, and then a 30 minute run with four times two minute threshold, and that'll be it. All right, get my transition area set up here and some park, parking lot. So the bike trail is right here. This is the main ocean side one. That's my bike, so I'm gonna jump on there before it gets dark and get going. So I just drove along the bike path here. There is the expo. This is this kind of bike path. There's the beach, the, the vibes here. It's like a pier there. That is basically the coastline of Oceanside. So uh, it's good. Legs are a bit tired. I think it's still jet lag as well. Like the legs haven't arrived yet. But it's so important to, you know, have some uh, movement, some blood in the legs, have an hour ride and a bit of run still. But uh, I want to discover this area, so. Uh, USFA. I'm back at the bike here, as you can see, I uh, managed the bike path in the middle of nowhere here on a parking lot. Uh, yeah, managed the bike path, it was pretty good in the sense that uh, I didn't crash although it was dark. Those roads are rough, <laughs> you expect a smooth path, 
but uh, that's not what it was. But uh, anyways, um, it's good. Now a little nice run, 30 minutes. Uh, of course, there was a lot more stress than planned today, so the body can feel it, I guess. So it's uh, it's fine. I have a nice little run now. Easy, just my feel. And uh, see how it go. What's happening, guys? It's day three in the US. It's now two days out from the race. And uh, yeah, it's in the morning now. I'm gonna be having a nice little sharpening up swim in this beautiful pool. It's only me. So it's gonna be some uh, faster 50s, some hundreds. It's just to get, you know, low volume. So just a 2K swim, but with some speedy stuff to keep the heart and muscles especially activated, keep them firing. And uh, yeah, then later uh, in uh, 90 minutes-ish, I'll have a run with uh, Joe, Joe Skipper. Like easy run, he just lifts around the corner. It's really nice and uh, yeah, that'll be it. Then later some registration at the race venue. It's always, always exciting going with Kevin that I live with here. We drive over together. That's gonna be an exciting day. That'll be it and otherwise I'll just go and rest because yesterday was a bit costing more energy than planned. So today just chill, really make it a aloha type chill day. And then tomorrow will be uh, one, one o'clock it's gonna be the pro race briefing, so they have, have to be there. And they'll also wreck my bike and the stuff, but no much training. But in the morning, it's super important. Early mornings, I'll actually be doing the, going to the ocean. That's that's pretty important to feel it, you know, jump in the waves. Uh, there's gonna be some rain now. So when rain is normally that, you know, it's a bit like in Hawaii, the water from the roads floats in and it's like with E. coli and stuff, it's a bit tricky to swim actually. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna swim because there's supposed to be a storm coming. Uh, Kevin said that there's a low chance it's gonna be a beach start because of this storm and water and uh, it's with that with safety they're not allowed to do it then and then I changed it to a harbor swim which yeah it's a bit boring because <laughs> you kind of want the adventure of course it's more exciting with the beach start running in and of course more nerves for everybody but also more adventure right you do this for adventure and just the harbor start is kind of like I don't know so rather do the adventure gladiator style and run in I'd like to do that as a nice uh, new challenge but let's get the swim in and then check in later all right so i just finished the swim i just have two media easy left and sometimes you forget because in the past you know sometimes i don't come from a swim background when i didn't swim or like when i and it was just always a lottery. Like you jumped in and like, sometimes you felt like shit, sometimes you felt like this. So I somehow still had this in my head, that this could be the case and you want to feel good before, but I forgot that I actually became a good swimmer. So, and I forgot that all the work I put in and I still did this week because I believe I do a lot of things differently and I haven't heard anyone talk about it like the way I do. Um, it's not the session, it's not the volume, it's not the intensity per se, it's like, nothing there that stands out but it's the things around it and that I do before the pool that I do in the gym quite a few things because it's mechanics first right which I think everybody knows but not everybody does so yeah I'm happy that I had a great swim felt amazing and even the long flight you know sometimes in the joints that could be a thing but I reset all of that because of the stuff I did in the gym if I didn't do that I would have had a horrible gym because your pelvis hips get locked up but even in a swim I had a protocol made up protocol myself what I do so I have a good flight as possible at least impact on a swim especially so uh, did that so let's have another 200 easy swim look at this living the life better than my full-time job I have to say Nice little swim, got it in, happy with that, and yeah, but it all matters that that front back, that is the dream, that is the mission of course, and uh, let's see if I make it this time, I'll do my absolute best, but if not, then it is what it is, gotta keep working, I mean, long swim background, I got my threshold down to the 112 mark, long course, I mean, it depends on the day of course, and uh, fast stuff, 50s to like consistent 30 seconds in 50 long course. So 
there's some speed but there's a lot of work I had to write a lot of work but uh, yeah I'll be working hard and after this keep working and at some point you know when your threshold is just 108 in long course then I don't need a front pack because then I can just swim my own and be I don't need other people per se so that is also what I want to be independent and just do do my race and enjoy it look at this California let's get the palm tree seed where are they so I finished the swim I'm now here at another place uh, waiting for Joe he has a ride and does a runoff I'll join on the runoff it's just an easy run so after my swim and uh, so I had a little shake in between with some oats and banana and some protein <coughs> keep fuel up it's now two days after the race so uh, good fueling the right stuff that works for you is important but carbs of course and uh, yeah now a little easy run and then I'll head home have some lunch and then later we'll be heading to the uh, expo area to the coast that's like a four mile drive uh, everything's driving here of course but uh, four miles we're pretty close to the coast and there's everything basically so it's uh, beautiful beautiful or we can head to a flat road you know on the way to the pool where we run what yeah. do you fancy all good for me just a little nice nice loop enjoy right. some running all right should we just do some laps then yeah it's got a bit of undulations in but it's not it's not that bad i did the other day okay we're heading out for a run with with john having first pro race yeah first pro race yeah. fastest electrician first pro race first pro race yeah first pro race ever cool <laughs> so all of us will run <laughs> At least when you get back from here or back from Texas, the weather will change, won't it? Yeah, so, yeah, May will be beautiful. Actually, for like May onwards, it's it's tried on paradise. You guys should check it out. It's like time trialing. You can do hilly, flat, super safe, Are perfect the roads. Roads. The roads quiet or super quiet. Yeah, nice. Super yeah, quiet. Roads. And really like not boring, like like Denmark or something like flat, but really like nice rollers, left right in the forest. Yeah. And uh, swimming, you got. Yeah, no, I got. Got lakes, got ocean. For running, endless, especially, you know, gravel, so you don't have to run on the road. Because yeah. imagine, like, two sun is. Yeah. I don't know, there's only road, right? Yeah, but it's the same in the woodlands as well. Ah, really? Yeah. Uh, okay. I just don't think there's any place to get chased by. I getting chased by a dog now. <laughs> <laughs> now, the parts in the woodlands are like hidden behind trees. Okay. Like every road is like a path. But yeah. I never found any rail going thing when I was out in there a few times. Yeah. Um, say they're going 42 km an hour and you go 43. To go 400 meters from the back to the first is 25 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're out there for 25 minutes. <laughs> so if you get to a point where you're riding at say 350, 360, yeah. and you hit a hill, and then the guy next to you say goes up this at 400, yeah. and all of a sudden you roll back one position, five minute penalty. Uh, How about that? So it's, yeah. it's a lottery. What? Yeah. If you're a strong cyclist, these guys are going to be. What I found in Florida that half the pros there will. You just. You're going that fast. Yeah, but the pace lines are smaller, weren't they? Yeah, but they probably only like six or seven people. Yeah, but the, kind of the slower pros were all shelled out of the back, weren't they? Yeah. But, um, I think, yeah. Here we go. Out here with Rookie Pro, Matty Vikes. He's getting, re getting ready for his uh, debut. That's it. I mean, uh, yeah. John as well. John for Big Pro John. Race. You can follow him on Instagram. What is it, John? Last name? John Farwell. <laughs> Tarwell, oh god. If you're an electrician, if you're an electrician, you think you can beat John? Comment on the video. John's raring to go. We think he's the fastest electrician out there. <laughs> September, October, we've got five months to do three Ironman. Yeah. Good and luck. You've got to nail every single one. <laughs> so hard. Yeah. And the Americans are going to have to travel. Well, if an American has a bad race in Texas yeah. or Lake Placid. They've then got to travel to Europe. To Australia, do yeah, Australia or Spain, or Australia, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. So, it's really, it should have started really with New Zealand, 
all carried on until Florida all caught him up. Yeah. So like. Yeah, let's say you're injured now in April. Whew, you're yeah. in trouble there. Yeah. Or even sick, you could be, you know what it is. Yeah. And Sickness. then loads of people could go into Kona with Kona being their third. But if something happens, you've still got a backup plan or you could go into Kona with it being second. Yeah. And then finish it off with Florida. Where are you thinking about going after here? Me? Yeah. I'll be doing, um, I mean, Texas, of course, but then the France, 70.3, Les Hables. Yeah. And two weeks later, uh, Spain, this size. So oh, I'll keep yeah. it in Europe. And what will yeah. be your next goal distance? Uh, uh, Spain, this size. Oh. So I'll be doing that. Yeah. And I mean, of course, I want to qualify for Kona, but it's not really in my hands, per se. Yeah. We're going to get to Yeah, you, you said. But it's, it's a lot of travel, or like yeah. two big races, I guess. I'm only uh, it's loads of cars, I think, yeah. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, how is Australia oh, travel? Isn't it like a death trip? Like 30 hours travel or something? It's like 30 hours, but I've been in loads for New Zealand. Yeah. Fine, it's great. Yeah. Like, fine. Finished the run, a little half an hour jog with the boys, and then we're packing in. What are you up to still today, Joe? Gonna okay, do a live podcast later, 2.30. Um, we some prizes, raise some money for the Challenged Athlete Foundation, so people awesome. that lost limbs. And then uh, chill out, really. John was tempted to go for a swim. He liked the body surfing, didn't you? Yeah, we'll see. We'll Have you been for a swim in there yet? Tomorrow morning, I wanted to go. Like a uh, really? similar time when the surf is out. It's good fun because you get some the waves, like body surfing and back. Yeah. Great fun in there. <laughs> yeah, just like with the rain, we have to see with equal air, whatever. But I think so far, I don't know. Yeah, hopefully it'll be alright. I'm for sure going to be standing in it and jump a bit in the waves. And... Yeah. But yeah, the waves are pretty big. Yeah. Pretty hard to get through. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that should we, be fun. We, we finish in the harbour, don't we? I think. Hmm? Did we finish in the harbour? I think so, yeah. I mean, it depends. Maybe the whole thing is in the harbour, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, hopefully it's on the beach. Yeah, beach, which would be fun. Well, it took five seconds and you're there, so you can swim, but food included. Yeah, but the big right. problem with that hotel is it's like an adult only hotel. Yeah. Yeah, so we've obviously got our uh, families and stuff. So if they want to, in an ideal situation, Thanks, man. You go. in an ideal situation, they would have come out with us. That's right, no, yeah. Uh, Alright guys, this will be it. I'm just uh, driving home now and grabbing some lunch and that will be it for the video. It will probably be long one already. Editing won't be world class uh, because I gotta do some my own and gotta recover and be fresh. But I wanted to document this whole thing as good as I could, right? So you guys can see always what's up, if it's going good and going bad, whatever. I'm gonna share all of it and uh, enjoy the journey. Really fun run with, uh, with John and Joe and gonna meet them there at the expo now a bit and uh, yeah just have a fun day and then just chilling today relaxing and uh, really happy where my body is at where my mind is at really enjoying my journey and uh, grateful for being able to do this i mean look at this <laughs> look it's just oh my god look at this no yeah, well uh, i hope i made some of you guys jealous which i'm sure you were no, i'm just kidding but uh beautiful here i hope you guys get a chance as well to see this I can say more after the race, but I heard only good things. And so far I can tell it's really amazingly beautiful for anybody wanting to race here. I think uh, you don't have to think twice about it. So even what I've seen so far, but um, if you like this kind of content, feel free to subscribe, leave a comment, want to see, want to see next and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.